was there's basically a little trip or a little process that we followed. And that was really the only thing new that we learned last class period. So the only thing new that last class period that we talked about was multiplying and dividing. And all I basically said was, first thing, always simplify. Before you apply any operation, simplify your radicals, just like, we, just like I just practiced. Simplify all your radicals. Then apply your operation. And then simplify again. And if you don't remember the operation, one of the things we talked about was if you have the square root of x times the square root of y, that could be rewritten as the square root of x times y. So when you have two radicals and you're multiplying, as long as, I'm sorry, I should have written this down, as long as the index is the same, as long as the index is the same, then, Mackenzie, you can just multiply the two radicands. So the first thing I want to do is simplify. Well, I can't take the square root of xy. I can't take the square root of xy, but I can take the square root of 4, right? So I could have this is the square root of xy times 2 the square root of xy. Now I can multiply all of these. I can multiply my two radicands together, which would give me 2 square root of x times x is x squared, y times y is y squared. Well, remember, going back to the identity element, can you take the square root of x squared, which is just x, and the square root of y squared is just y. So your actual answer is 2xy. So simplify, apply operation, simplify.